guys, it's Mitchell, and I just wanted to share a quick uh, package that came today. I mentioned um, I mentioned uh, getting a, a, a breathing mask for the wind trainer, and it came today. I was, actually, I came back from uh, lifting and this evening, and uh, it was in the lobby, so I figured I'd open it up and t show you what it's all about. Um, so this company's pretty good. Um, they were, like, actually, they sent me one before, um, but it was the wrong size. Oh, yeah. So, this is it. And, um, the thing behind it, there's really actually a lot of science behind these things now. They used to market stuff like this as, like, altitude training, and that was all just disproven. There was no way to actually, um, uh, separate the oxygen molecules, so it, it wasn't replicating altitude at all. But what they did discover was that it made breathing more difficult, and and by that fact, they were able to make increase the resistance so that the lungs themselves, um, the muscles around the lungs, you know, in the thoracic cavity, um, your pectoral minors, your intercostals, your diaphragm, these muscles connected to the lungs um, could be conditioned to expand with greater force in and out. Um, and so these masks are, they're awesome actually. They're super uncomfortable, but the benefits are there. The science is there too. So just goes on like this. And, um, and, and you've got a couple settings on this particular one, right? So you, I just took the cover off, kind of a cool cover. And, um, this is sort of the intermediate, or actually the beginner setting. And then you click it one, it, it closes a, one of the, the three openings. I don't know if you can see that. And then this closes two of the three. And then for badass uh, <laughs> deep conditioning, you close the whole thing off. Um, you can still breathe and everything. Um, so I'm gonna try it. I'll keep you posted. Um, I think I, I don't think you really want to be doing anything above zone two with this stuff. At least that's my thinking right now, because it's it's more like a, um, a passive a passive conditioning, similar to like maybe if you were going to be wearing like a weight vest when you were maybe working out on an incline um, treadmill or something like that. Um, when you go super super hard, you want to be able to hit the power, you want the resistance, you want to be able to be firing on all cylinders, um, and this is going to limit that. So I just don't see the benefit of it because um, I think from a conditioning standpoint, it's kind of like base training in a sense. If you want super resistance, then you use this. Um, this is the power lung, and it's got like I don't know if you can see the settings there. There are 10 settings. This dial goes up and down, All right? So this is about halfway right here, like five out of 10. And it's like, I've been using it for like two months and I don't, I can't do five. I can't breathe in at all. Um, so some people can, um, which says a lot about how far I can improve my lung power, strength. Which is really kind of cool when you think about it, because a lot of people, like myself included, when I used to do time trials, I'd always get a burning right in my chest and my legs. You're all, you know, you're 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 at you're at capacity, but um, I used to think it was my lungs, but it, it isn't my lungs. It's it's all the muscles in the thoracic cavity around my lungs, you know. And it's like, whoa! Once I really realized that they're they're muscles just like any other muscle that can be trained and conditioned. So it makes total sense that that these these this approach to conditioning is, is there. It's valid. Um, the science is there. It's called uh, respiratory training, um, which I always have a hard time pronouncing. But hey, I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, as I say, the power lung I've used to good to to good results. Um, the stats on this thing from, I think it was the British College of, uh, it's in the UK, something sports science over there, I have the website. But guys on six weeks with this stuff, doing doing 30 reps every single day, over six weeks, improved their 40K time by 4%.
which is massive. I can't imagine four percent. I mean, that's an that's an ocean. That's 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 a complete game changer. I don't believe it, but hey, if I could get one percent, to me, it's worth it. Um, it's tough work, though. I have to say, this it's hard. It's hard. It's uncomfortable, and so I'm hoping that the Phantom here, um, augmenting that at low resistances. Um, will be really beneficial, you know? Um, so anyway, I'll keep you posted. Uh, more to come. Have a great night.